So let's begin with our topic, the introduction part. We're going to cover in this video, introduction part, definition of cell. Next is what, how cell is discovered, discovery of cells, number of cells. There we're going to know what is unicellular, what is multicellular. Next is the parts of the cells, the basic parts of the cells. What is cell wall, cell membrane, nucleus, cytoplasm. So this we're going to know in this video. Okay, so let's begin with our first topic. What is cell? What is cell? What? What is cell? What is cell? Cell is nothing but the structural and functional unit of life. Okay, it is a basic unit of life. Cell is nothing but a basic unit of life. Okay, what does that mean basic unit of life? It is nothing but, for example, as we can see in this picture, for making a building, for making a building, for building or constructing something, we need a particular brick. Isn't it? We need a particular brick because from that brick we started to build the wall, wall to structure, wall uh, next to building. So this is that the brick is a unit, a particular unit of the Same. building. So how how cell is discovered who discovered the cell cell is discovered okay cell discovery of the cell okay discovery discovery of the discovery okay discovery of the cell so discovery of the cell who discovered the cell who discovered the cell the name is called robert robert hook Okay, Robert Hooke is a scientist who discovered the cell. Okay, how he discovered the cell? He observed a cork in a microscope. He saw that a compartment structure is visible in a cork. Okay, dead cells. Cork is a dead cell. As we can see the cap of the bottle. Okay, the cap of the bottle, the wooden cork. Okay, the cap of the wooden bottle. We can see wooden Cork. It is a cork as we can see in this picture the, in that there are dead cells there we can see that dead cells are having some compartment by observing the compartment like structure in the cork okay same thing he also absorbed oil onion peel onion peel in the microscope same structure we, it is visible in the microscope as we can see in the second picture okay so he that time he concluded that every organisms living or non living have the compartments have the basic unit called cell every organism starts to form have a basic unit is a cell okay with the cell with a basic unit cell every organism started to generate their life okay so in, he is the first scientist to discover the cell. Next is Robert. Robert Brown. Okay. Robert Brown. Okay. Robert Brown. As we can see in this picture, Robert Brown, he, he discovered the, as we can see in this picture, he discovered the nucleus of the cell. As we can see the nucleus of the cell. A dark jelly-like substance in the in the middle of the cell. As we can see in this picture, too, he discovered nucleus. Nucleus of the cell. Okay. What he discovered? Robert Hooke. Robert Hooke discovered cell, and Robert Brown discovered nucleus of the cell. Okay. So both Robert discovered a basic structural of the cell. Okay, so next discovery of the cell we understood how it discovered happened. Next we're going to know about know is the number of cells. Okay, number of cells. What is number? Why and how how number coming here? So number is nothing but there are two types of cells. One is unicellular. Okay, unicellular 
Another one is multicellular. Multicellular. What are the two types of cells? Unicellular and multicellular. What is uni means? Uni means uni is nothing but one. Uni means one. Unicellular is nothing but in this cell all the functions, all the functions like digestions, assimilations, everything, respirations happens in only one cell. Okay, whereas in multicellular for every particular function there are many cells occupied in this organism. So, so unicellular for example, we can see in this picture amoeba. Amoeba is a unicellular organism. For multicellular examples are we human being. Human being have varieties of cells in the body. For respiration we have different cells. For different organs we have different cells. Every everything for assimilation, for digestion, everything we have different cells. But in amoeba, as we can see in this picture, in amoeba only one cell is present in that cell. Everything, every function happens in that cell itself. For assim respiration, assimilation, digestion, and everything. Okay, so this is all the functions happens in only one cell. Those organisms are known as unicellular. And more than one cell of an organism is known as a multicellular. For example, human beings and all the animals and plants. Okay, so number of cells, I hope this is clear. Next, we are going to know about what is. Next, we are going to know the structure of cells. So, structure of cells. Structure, structure. Okay, structure is nothing but here... We can see in this picture that is outer outer membrane is known as a cell membrane. Okay, cell membrane, cell membrane. As we can see, the outer layer, outer layer of the cell is known as cell membrane. Next is the the between a dark substance. As we can see, the dark color in between the cell that is a nucleus. Okay. Next we can see. Cell membrane, nucleus, and the cytoplasm. What is cytoplasm? Cytoplasm is nothing but in this cytoplasm, it is a like liquid. It's a jelly-like structure, jelly-like liquid where all the organelles present. Okay, so this is a basic structure. We're going to know further about that in next video. What is the function of the every parts of the cells okay parts these are nothing but structure or parts okay parts parts of the cells structure or parts of the cells we can going to know about what is the structure of cell membrane what is the structure of nucleus what is the structure of cytoplasm and what is the constituents organ organelles present in the cytoplasm so we're going to know in the next video so i hope this is clear what is definition of cells and ah, one more thing is the cell theory what is, what is cell theory? Cell theory is nothing but there are three major concepts of cell theory that is nothing but all the organisms are made up of cells. All the organisms are made up of cells. Second is all the cells are formed from pre-existing cells. That means for example human being. Human being how human being reproduce their offspring? For from a human cell only, human being is human offspring, human baby is reproduced. For example, any plant, for example, mango plant. Okay, for mango plant, it generates to mango, it's developed, it grows to mango tree. And mango tree generates a new species mango plant. It's new offspring. Okay, how that offspring is formed? That offspring, that baby, that mango plant is formed from mango uh, tree. Isn't it? So mango tree gives the cells to mango plant, that small plant. So every cells, every cells is formed through pre-existing cells. Yeah. cells. And the third is theory. All the cells have structural and functional unit of the life. Okay, every cells have their own function. Every cells have their own structure. In that structure, they do some particular function. Okay, I hope this is clear.
Yeah. If you understand.